All right, traders, we had a really good week this week. We had some really good setups. We were taking some setups during uh um during the Tokyo session, caught some EJs, some DJs. Decent week. Let's see what's next for DXY. One second. All right, so price is not put uh taken out that low on the DXY. So if it doesn't take out this low, this low should substantiate a demand. Let me put these lines here real quick. Um, from the body, what I've noticed from the body, um, sometimes the body itself has the orders liquidity sitting at it and sometimes it likes to stab into the body a little bit so if we have a movement back down a little bit and if we get a reaction like that uh yeah that's gonna blast for most of the part I, i've seen it this happen too many times where it's gonna just come down there grab liquidity not take out the low start pushing back up because the buyers are going to get involved because orders are filled and Maybe consolidate off here and then start pushing back up back to this area where this big nasty supply is on it. Now, DXY to me is going to uh, range. And let me show you what I mean by it's going to be in a range position, even though this is legit a weekly demand. We are on a weekly demand on DXY, meaning dollar bulls. Let's let me get this set up real quick before I explain it. All right, so we do have up here, there is fair market gap that needs to be taken out from here to that wick. So we do have fair market gap right there. Let's put it right there. So that gap probably needs to be filled. But like I said, I see this ranging coming up, down, up, down for a while until we figure out what it want to do. If it comes up here, takes out the fair market gap, runs back into this supply, my professional opinion is dollar weakness after that. That's my uh, professional opinion. I don't think the dollar is going to go past this wick high if the dollar goes past this wick high america's rigged like <laughs> it's not gonna make it past it might maybe it'll wick it because there's liquidity sitting back up at the top um but other than that that's what's looking like for the dollar a ranging market of the dollar maybe a push back up to the 110 maybe a push back to take liquidity out at this high and then a continuation down why do i say that it's not just actual price action it's actually what's going on with bricks what's going on in the economy and we just in the last days that's just what it is american empires i'll leave that for another topic but um a nice little m you know for the Traders that like to trade uh, M's, this is a good point of turning around and start reversing um, once it takes out liquidity, takes out the fair market gap. What does that mean for our pairs that we trade? Now that I know we're on a demand and the dollar strength, then we're going to start looking for sales. If we look here at the weekly of AU, AU already tapped into a weekly right there so it's already tapping and dropping so it's going to come and take out these lows probably next week or the week after that that's what i'm looking for which means in the morning time i'm probably going to be taking a lot of shorts knowing that the market is uh bearish and honestly i need to see how this next weekly candle uh opens up if it opens up bearish and stays bearish all week at the middle in the end of the week we can catch some really good supply setup um Let's see here. Daily. We're trading below the 200 EMA. That's a good thing. Here's the supply right here, right at the 200 EMA. Here's the area where bulls tried to come in and take back over the market because there was a demand right here. 
and it got broken with a big long bare candle that probably had fair market gap on the time frame and we have somewhat of a supply right there so we have some supply areas to sell off of for the next week on the daily and then obviously if we go to lower time frames just look for our sell setups if you counter trend trades can be done if we find some demand setup but right now the market is making lower lows and we like that when it start making lower lows that's when we can make our money because we just catch every low at the break of the candle um yeah so that's for au gu is looking like the same thing actually i actually took a sale on gu on my um on my account and look right at this uh where is it? is it i guess it's that one it tapped right into the h1 remember i, I try to write i put these things in here so you can see for yourself that's the break of structure bos so structure was break uh, broken right here and it just wanted to fill in that whole gap. It filled in the whole gap. It looked like it's ready to go back down at the break of structure. You just go where the market is going. Make it simple. That's why I like continuation. Remember, reversals happen seldom, but continuations happen more in a, a trending market. So it's best to just take the continuation. Look at this. Just keep taking it until take the continuation until the market wants to reverse. By the time that happened, you already made a lot of money. And then when you finally lose because it's gonna, it's a reversal. You made all your money, especially if you're doing risk management. But that's another story too. So yeah, um, continuation for GU down um, next week. Uh, as far as NAS 100 is concerned, we got a lot of breaker structure going on here. Looks like the indices are ready to start flying. What is this? NASDAQ. Okay. Go to this. Go to the weekly. We do have a major supply that's sitting at NAS 100 right now. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this ain't just going to fall easily. Last time it was right here, tap, tap, drop. This, this was a triple bottom off of demand. It flew all the way. I knew this move was going to happen. I wish I would have been patient enough to hold it, but whatever. It's back at this major supply. Only two things can happen right here. We ain't going to make it confusing. First of all, it's going to put up with a big consolidation fight and either drop from here or back to all time highs. What you think finna happen? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in my drop. Or it could do this. Here's a scenario. So it's back here. It consolidates for a couple of candles and give you a sale set up. So everybody's selling. And then them uh, turn around, tap it again and look like it's going to sell off again. And do that. You could catch the sales, and I mean, and you can catch buys at this point. So Nasdaq is one of those. It's iffy. It's at a major supply. We'll see what happens. Or let's see what else. Um, there was something else. Um, gold. Gold on the H4. You know, I don't really trade gold as much because it's very manipulated. Is that the day? So, no, gold is actually on a daily demand. And gold is still in the buyer's market, it's still uh, riding the 200. So, I don't know. If gold breaks this 200, then we could continue sales. But if it doesn't break this with this weak trend, this trend is weak going down. It looked like it just tapped it and then it made a break account. So that's kind of conflict. Of, that's conflicting with DXY, but maybe another push back up to fill this gap. Let me see. 
There is supply right there. And on lower time frames, uh, uh, I don't know. There, so there's a supply right there on the lower time frame too. So it there are supplies starting to show up. So, but I mean, I don't trade gold like that. But I know I know some people that do. So that's something to look for with gold. It did tap the zone, collected the orders, and it's ready to start pushing up. So might get a push up, might not. So next week we'll have to see. Yeah, see, if you look at it on a weekly, the demand for the weekly is down there. But that's long term. Well, it's going to react right there. Even if it's trying to make a downtrend, let's just say it do this. Next week, it pull up a little bit, then come down and then start dropping, right? And then come down here and then come back up to the high. And start consolidating, then you know, drop off a cliff, like whatever it does. We see it so many times, but yeah, that's conflicting with uh what we were looking for for the DXY, but that's okay. The last thing I want to go over is odd. Hold on, let's do this. A U D N Z D. Y'all, everyone knows that's my favorite swing trade pair. And where we're at with, I haven't got in yet, but let's see. This month closed, still kind of bullish. Is the month over? Not yet. But right here is the demand. It hasn't came into it yet. When it comes into this demand and, it's, and the demand is below the 200 EMA, I'm pulling the trigger. I ain't waiting for no break account. I'm getting in. And guess where I'm going? First of all, let's look. Breakout. Low. 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 Low, what is this telling you? When I start seeing lows being taken out and new highs coming out, it's 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 game time. So where I'm going with this, this is gonna be one of the best trades of all time for me. Where I want to go is back up to here. Let's see, is that the area? That's my TP. You can take it if you want to. I'm risking like 2%. And then I'm putting it in other accounts too. This is going to be the trade of the century. I don't even know when this move will happen. As you can see, the, it could take all, it could take a couple of months. Month, like three, four, five months. But it's a 1 to 5.23. I'm taking it. Shoot, I could take it back. Yeah, our New Zealand is ready to start going back up. I don't see this continue to push them down when it's making lower lows like this and they got that demand on the daily. So I'll let y'all know when I take it, but I'm, I'm waiting for it to come back down. Once it come back down, I'm in there. Even though there's, that's a daily demand right there, I was going to take that the other day, but I'm like, me taking the one down there. Nope. Or I can put it, I can, like, when the market open, I can put a small position in now and wait and then put a position in right there. Either or. But that's what we're looking for, so. Y'all have a good weekend. We'll be back at it Monday. Peace.